How much land does a man need? Retold by Mina Morris. Chapter 1 An older sister went to visit her younger sister who lived in the countryside. The older sister was married to a tradesman in the town, while the younger was married to a peasant in the village. While they were having tea and talking, the older sister started to boast about the advantages of living in the town. She talked about how comfortably they lived, how well they dressed, the fine clothes her children wore, the good food and drinks they had, and how she went to the theatre, promenades, and other events. The younger sister felt offended, and she started to belittle the life of a tradesman and praise that of a peasant. I wouldn't swap my lifestyle for yours, she said. We may live simply, but at least we are free from stress. You live a better life than we do, but even though you often earn more than you need, you're very likely to lose it all. You know the saying, gain and loss are two sides of the same coin. People who are wealthy one day often end up begging for bread the next. Our way is safer. Even though a peasant's life is not a lavish one, it's a long one. We will never become wealthy, but we'll always have enough to eat. The older sister sneered and said, Enough. Yes, if you like to share with the pigs and the calves. What do you know about elegance or manners? Even if your husband works hard, you will die living in a dung heap, and your children will do the same. Well, so what? replied the younger sister. Of course. Our work is rough and unrefined, but on the other hand, it's reliable and we don't have to submit to anyone. But you, living in the town, are surrounded by temptations. Today, everything might be okay, but tomorrow the devil might tempt your husband with cards, wine, or women, and everything will be ruined. Don't such things happen often enough? Pahom, the owner of the house, was lying on top of the oven, listening to the women's conversation. It's completely true, he thought. As peasants, we're busy tending the land from an early age, and don't have time for any foolishness to cloud our minds. Our only problem is that we don't have enough land. If I had a lot of land, I wouldn't fear anything, not even the devil himself. The women finished their tea, chatted a bit about clothing, and then cleared the tea things and went to sleep. But the devil had been sitting behind the oven, and he had heard everything that had been said. He was delighted that the peasant's wife had persuaded her husband to boast, saying that if he had enough land, he wouldn't even fear the devil himself. Fine, fine, thought the devil. Let's have a challenge. I'll give you enough land, and by using that land, I'll control you. End of chapter one.